Hello, this is Bruce Tremper with the Forest Service Utah Avalanche Center. And I'm here on this tiny little test slope here at 10,000 feet uh, near Alta. And just getting onto this north facing slope, I was able to collapse the slope. You can see the cracks right here and the crack running off over there. Here we just have a couple feet of both new snow on top and old snow down here. And you can see this is all fine grained. And then we get down here, just pure sugar, like salt crystals run through your, your fingers. And that's what it was collapsing on when I stepped onto the slope. There it goes, all the way across. It propagated all the way across on that, that tap. Just kind of mushed down there. Um, and in other places, at a smaller scale, I was able to get that to propagate to the other side. But it is quite inconsistent from one place to the other. And here's a north facing slope that's about 35 degrees that people have been skiing and not triggering avalanches. So, very inconsistent. Uh, it's propagating in some places, but uh, not in others. We have some skiers on a north facing slope it's in about out of bounds area near Alta. They're tracking up this slope, but not triggering avalanches. So,